ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग डिवाइन फैमिली तो वी टुडे वी आर ऑन द पार्ट टू ऑफ द अव्यक्त मोर्डी व्हिच इज टाइटल व्हिच इज फोकस ऑन द गैदरिंग इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ गैदरिंग एंड द सर्टिफिकेट टू गैदरिंग यस्टरडे वी हैड सीन दैट द गैदरिंग increases the value of each pearl or bead and uh, how one by itself would only be called one but one and one together become 11 it multiplies multifold <clears throat> then baba taught us the do's and don'ts while in a gathering what are the do's where we where one's attitude and vision should be focused on <clears throat> that is to see each one's specialities and don'ts means we should ignore each one's weaknesses while seeing also we should not see any one's weaknesses and how to reward or <coughs> award give this reward uh, be however little award that may be it could be just the mentioning of or announcing the name but that stamps for the future that that you know <coughs> it becomes a basis of so many achievements by that soul in the future <coughs> So and also how to what extent we are content with one another, and how close are we to one another? Are we content with ourselves as well as with others, and are others content with ourselves? Those kind of certificates also <clears throat> they all depend on what is my attitude, my vision, and my thoughts. So. and also the uh, baba gave example of holy swan is <clears throat> always you know uh, sorts the uh, pearls out out from the stone so only collects or stored in the memory only the pearls <clears throat> so we all baba expects each one of us to be a divine pearl divine holy swan so now and also baba spoke about the unity and discipline in any gathering <clears throat> unity of minds integration of minds and also discipline of what always follow the do's and be away from the don'ts it should become as natural as possible <clears throat> so let's come to the part 2 <clears throat> of <clears throat> the murli abhyak murli so let's all be seated <clears throat> between the eyebrows on the forehead i am a soul in my soul consciousness page i am a holy swan carefully gathering each and every word of this term spoken by abdada <clears throat> so <clears throat> when you do not wish to reveal your own weaknesses why do you speak of the weaknesses of others this one was not in agreement with me or this thing was not done you know as per my expectation or this is why service does not span because of so and so because of so and so or this thing or this one is an obstacle to my effort if this thing wouldn't be there or this soul wouldn't be there in the gathering then i would have progressed much further much fast much intense manner so this is <clears throat> baba says these kind of examples this is just your own intellect trying to take the support of some excuse but that support is without a foundation <clears throat> and therefore cannot be accepted what is the foundation i am a soul 
each one is soul we are part of the same family one future one earth you know so the foundation is the soul consciousness in the seed stage and when i am away from the foundation that support is kind of an excuse the support is without the foundation and therefore it cannot be accepted <clears throat> after a little while that same support becomes damaging and the support is without the foundation of soul consciousness that is it is having some kind of body consciousness then the support becomes damaging and so you holy swan you are holy swan are you not baba says do you forget that time that while making excuses that you are holy swan <clears throat> so what is the activity of the holy swans to pick up the specialities of each one and to try to finish their weaknesses so are you not so baba says so are you making such effort means are you making such effort of picking up picking up only the specialities of each one which will help those souls to finish their weaknesses so are you making effort while having this awareness that all of you are one one family this is the speciality underlying this is the speciality or the unique uniqueness of this gathering which does not exist in any other gathering throughout the whole world what does anyone who comes here and sees this who listens to whatever happens here speak of that the way of walking the way of you know sitting and the way of speaking etc means way of every activity performed by every soul of the this gathering is the same it's like satyuga <clears throat> so baba is giving a contrast of how satyuga will be different from kaliyuga <clears throat> the gathering of satyuga will be at e yatha raja tatha praja as is the king so are the subject everyone's activity walking the way of speaking the way of talking to each other will be same means in soul consciousness <clears throat> so this is the speciality they speak of so check yourself according to the phrase they speak of the unity one destination one method one discipline underlined this is very important in satyuga which is a very good example baba often when i speaks about and baba has come down to the earth to create the satyuga gathering <clears throat> so there the unity you know one oneness that is unity one destination that is one future one method method of soul consciousness one discipline that i have to see everyone's each one's specialities not their weaknesses so according to the effort of the present time the word excuse should finish what is an excuse now you are moving forward are you not since you are those who have maintained the courage of taking on the responsibility of transforming the world and of transforming matter that is prakriti five elements you are those who issue a challenge so what is an excuse then where is the excuse created baba is reminding us of who am i who are we <laughs> and then baba says you are those who issue a challenge to the world you issue a challenge to the matter you are the one who issue a challenge to any sort of weaknesses or maya so what is an excuse then so from where this excuses come from 
where is the excuse created what is the seed of an excuse there is weakness in one way or another this is a seed of an excuse weakness that is lack of power lack of might in our thoughts in our words and in our coming into connection or relationship with one another the excuse begins with weakness so the creation is a wasteful one any creation based on weaknesses or excuses is a wasteful one so what would be the creation of a weakness be as is the seed so is the fruit so when the creation is wrong or that is based on weakness or excuses or any external support other than the soul consciousness should you finish it there and then or should you take its support and move forward what that is asking question i can only move forward if this thing can be solved what so what is the language i can only move forward if this thing can be <clears throat> if this thing is resolved services will increase and the obstacles will be removed so the here the focus is on the external support is a sort of dependency there is a clause conditional clause if this thing happens then my service will increase if this thing has is removed obstacle is removed then i will be fast intense effort maker so now baba says now change this language the language of weakness you are those who give solutions to others are you not important concept to ponder on we are solution providers not the part of problem we are part of solution people who do not have any knowledge come to you for a solution to their problems do they not how can those who themselves are to bring about solutions to many type of problems take the support of this means support of such kind of conditional clauses or excuses when all this support is finished then this body consciousness and all its sanskars that is sanskars originating from body consciousness will automatically finish but when will that happen when all the external support is finished or the excuses finished these things bring you into body consciousness when these things finish then the consequences of them will also finish because of being caught up with little things you know, trivial things you come into different types of body consciousness so we'll churn on this what are the different types of body consciousness which we get caught up which are trivial which which basically affect our unity discipline so have you even now not let go of body consciousness do you love it so much now now change your language and your attitude these are the two, two key words change your language mind your language and mind your attitude check and change <clears throat> when you see anyone at any time in any stage or situation if your attitude and your feelings are accurate you will not be influenced by them again underline this is the strategy for checking and changing in any situation in any stage check your attitude and feeling are they accurate as per the soul consciousness you will not be influenced by them in that way you should have a benevolent attitude and the feelings of good wishes kalyankari vritti and shubh bhavana good wishes feeling if you constantly maintain this attitude and feelings in an accurate way these things will not happen no matter what others do even if they become obstacles for you your feelings for such souls 
should always be those of a well-wisher. This is known as being a fast effort maker or a holy swan. So like a holy swan, it's <clears throat> unconditional in its attitude and vision, in its feelings for others. It will always pick up the pearls. It is not a big thing when you have good wishes for those who have good wishes for you. When the environment is conducive and everyone is praising you, it's not a big thing, Baba says. Not a big thing when you have good wishes for such souls who are praising you. There is a praise of those who uplift the ones who defame them. But if someone is trying to defame you, still, deep inside, on the foundation of soul consciousness, we are praising that soul. We are looking at specialities of that soul. We are having a mercy for those souls. It's a big thing. The Baba says, to have mercy for those who are merciful is not a big thing. But when someone tries to make you fall again and again, and tries to make you fluctuate in your mind, even then, you should maintain good wishes with stability. Your feelings should not change because of the situation underlying. You should constantly have unshakable and firm feelings. Only then will you be called a holy swan. Then you will not see, even see any of these things. You will be much beyond, beyond the matter, beyond this body consciousness at a much, much elevated stage where you not see these little things, these trivial sight scenes or these weaknesses. So otherwise, otherwise, if we are not doing this effort, then a lot of time is wasted in these little things. Time is wasted in childhood anyway. I was giving examples. When the soul is not, I uh, mean, in the childhood stage, a lot of time is wasted in these kind of little, little things. If a child is wasting time, others would say he's only a child. However, if a sensible person wastes his time, valuable time, thoughts, what would others say? A child wasting his time would not be noticed as much because that is his work anyway. So the service for we sensible souls, the service for which you have become instruments requires the state, elevated state of being a world mother. You are world benefactors, are you not? There are many who will benefit the limited. In Baba says in Lockheed world, there are many souls who benefit in a limited way by helping with money or helping with some kind of education or giving some kind of support, relief material, food or those kind of things. But however, Baba always inspires these souls to serve the unlimited. Baba says the stage of being a world benefactor is that of being a world mother where we benefit the unlimited. Acha, Om Shanti. Let's take a minute of pause and reflect on the deep insight which Bab Dada is giving, has given to us in this part two of today's movie. Om Shanti.
So Om Shanti, I would invite every member of this divine family to share their reflections now. Om Shanti. So what has Bab Dada spoken about or conversed with each one of us on with respect to what should be an, our attitude and our feelings in any gathering, whether be it our own, our family or Brahmin Parivar or our society, our state, nation, world, even the, the five elements, what is our attitude and feeling should be? Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Bhai. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Balvinder sister, and they're off the wheel. Uh, uh, first brother okay. Also to share. Okay, yeah. so I, um, uh, Om Shanti, Bhai Ji, and uh, Divine Family, I was uh, uh, visualizing different type of body consciousness uh, as you were reading. For example, you can also please uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So when we live our lifestyle on autopilot mode, completely unconsciousness, total darkness, or a materialistic lifestyle, uh, we may call it rat race, when our entire focus is external, big car, big house, big salary, big status, complete, when we live our life in complete ignorance, uh, we have no idea what is truth, what is the reality. We usually come inside from outside not from inside inside to outside like totally totally dependent on outside resources we have no idea who we are inside what inner resources we are gifted with we have no idea and and lifestyle in which we are completely slave of our body conscious our vices our bodily relation bodily connection so these are a few types um i was able to think please kindly correct me if i'm if i'm right <laughs> right or wrong very nice wonderful sharing you have actually spoken about the key uh, takeaway of today's uh, that the foundation that is the soul consciousness page which our every attitude vision our thoughts be centered around that and then when we are at the foundation we are there is no weakness we are not dependent on anything from this outer world om shanti i would request brother uh vijit bhai ji also to share uh om shanti om shanti. so <clears throat> so yesterday is uh, um yeah part two um so at a gross level uh, if we check this right so uh, the actual root cause here is the body consciousness again uh, that's when one comes in uh, bondage and the attitude of mind comes right and then uh, and wanting nature yours or mine uh, the coloring nature your white and i am black you're Indian, American, Muslim, Hindu, right? Male, female, I have X and you have Y and so on. Um, just like the song uh, you played uh, at the beginning, it was very nice. Uh, and uh, when our consciousness changes from body to soul, uh, then the attitude also changes. Uh, this is the shift, uh, you know, that we get from a limited to unlimited, conditional to unconditional acceptance in love. Like Baba said, everyone uh, is with some or the other speciality. So uh, we have come from up above, don't belong in here, uh, don't own anything here. Uh, so no bondage, right? Therefore, we can remain contented when we have that consciousness. Uh, that will come only when we when we are in soul consciousness, that's when we'll remain contented and make others also contented. So this is kind of a thinking out of the box, uh, right? Everyone is uh, uh, mine, Baba's child, belong to the same family, beads of the same necklace, 
you know, let's uh, 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 the uh, yeah. Uh, this is again uh, towards the end. There are four certificates, right? So one of them uh, is uh, is uh, is from the family, the Brahmin family. So only then we pass. So uh, so uh, just the effort would be to letting go of the body consciousness and then building the uh, 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 that benevolent attitude and good wishes when we see each other. That comes with the soul consciousness. State. So practice would be to um, put effort to see one another um, soul rather than uh, seeing their body then we will become conditional and we change the consciousness then we become unconditional om shanti thank you thank you brother thank you uh, for wonderful sharing others may also kindly share uh, their reflections because baba has spoken on many aspects you know, baba also gave example of like it's not that if somebody is praising us and we are merciful and we are you know uh well wisher but even in the extreme situation when someone is trying to defame or someone is uh, making you fall again and again still we have well wishing for that soul so how does how does it happen anyone can reflect on this what is the thing which uh, helps us to maintain a constant space of well-wishing uh, feeling and uh, benevolent attitude. Anyone may share on this? Om Shanti, brother. Om Shanti. Yeah, like uh, the last paragraph, I think it was an action paragraph. Baba just said, oh, they are just small things. But then he added the biggest thing over there which we are all facing and which we are still churning over now is body consciousness. Like for me to know about body consciousness, I think I, I would like to go to the beginning, the kindergarten thing which Baba taught us, body, soul. So when we started this knowledge, you know, we were given a nice chart about difference between body and soul. What one is organ, one is physical, one is abstract, one consists of organs and what is the virtues of the body and what is virtues of the soul. I think we were like a school uh, syllabus. It was, we were given a clear difference between body and soul. So that one aspect, it was just as written down. But to experience that, then you would come to know, okay, yeah, 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 all this is body and all, all this is soul. So first, that consciousness, that feeling, consciousness means oh, that kind of feeling, this is body, this is soul. But for me, I feel that any impure thinking, anything, any kind of thought which gives rise to any of the five vices, anything where my inner qualities, my, the original qualities of my soul are taken away from me, or by adopting these material values, I enter into the big maze of body consciousness. For this, I need, of course, to go back to find out what we call it is realizing the self. I may have physical power, but that will not take me away to soul consciousness. I need the inner power. I need the willpower. This is the basic lesson we learned when we took the knowledge. But in this paragraph, what Baba says, change your drishti, change your attitude, be accurate, <coughs> have benevolent attitude and feelings of good wishes. Like I should always say, I am a well-wisher. I will only be giving class and class. That's the highest stage, highest being, I think. Then Baba Hauvi speaks three things. I am an instrument. I am a world mother. I am a world benefactor. I think this is just for that last paragraph and for the churning which is going on. Om Shanti. 
thank you sister for such a uh, deep journey and uh, i'll just like to add one reflection here that in last sunday's burli baba gave us uh, practical examples tips on uh, the, how to change the language baba spoke about language how to change the language in the dictionary so instead of what we could use the word fly we should just fly away we detach ourselves from the situation uh, internally deep internal internal uh, vision and second is why instead of why say bye bye and uh, instead of uh, kaise or how you say aise aise means no k n o w no so this is uh, also this, these practical examples baba has given us anyone may also uh, just add on to this or uh, uh, share uh, their own reflection on how to use this morally in day to day practical life in a gathering in family yeah when uh, someone is the uh, hurting us the okay pain is giving it back but a jani soul knows that uh, all souls are children of uh, same parmatma uh, and uh, he applies the theory of karma someone is doing bad to me just because i have done to him in earlier uh, phase of my life or previous ones so he is giving it back to me so i wish him all the well uh, my bag of uh, bad things has become nascent i wish him all the well so all the well all the best so by thinking like that and doing good to the person who is doing harm to you uh, apparently that is really a way of uh, helping yourself so if also knowing the theory of karma practicing it uh, we easily practice it because very natural for the home shop yes bhai ji uh, that's very uh, good point you have brought out is deep inside baba has given us this knowledge the divine intellect to understand the law of karma so if some soul is trying to make me fall again and again or criticizing me or defaming me in one way or the other bringing my state lower then i should be alert that time that it is because of probably because of my own karma in the previous birth so i should be always be well wisher for that soul so that i can cut those uh accounts settle the accounts so anyone else please share brother just to add one reflection to what uh, the brother just said see if you just see yeah. baba said excuse comes from weakness which leads to waste for this changing language which you were saying baba says we always use the word agar agar ye badle main badlunga if this situation changes i will change baba says you have your own weakness when you cannot uh, control your own weakness how are you go what are you revealing others weakness first apna upar jo weakness hai nikalo agar magar or all these questions stop stop these excuses are you a samasya swarup or are, do you want to give samadhan so baba says come out from the support of excuse like a bird which is catching on to these excuse you always say baba agar ye ho jayenge to main ye karunga agar ye ho jayenge main ye karunga finish that finish that that is what baba meant in changing the language yeah thank you uh, sister uh, for adding that reflection now i'll just uh, read the chat uh, uh, chat box where Uh, divine souls have shared their reflection if i balvinder kaur sister has shared if i see myself as a soul conscious 24 by 7 and others to as soul then my feeling my attitude of unconditional benevolence good wishes pure feeling emerges from my inner universe very nice but please teach me how i think we have discussed on that the it all depends on my practice from where i operate from i operate from the foundation of soul consciousness seeing self and others as soul somebody in this replied also language of agar agar and all the conditional clauses should finish 
because they indicate the weakness that soul is not gathered might light might and divine insight from the supreme father and uh, satish bhai has shared it's the time of benefactory i mean benevolence everything is benef benevolence to me then your wishes will be good wishes yes and gives us such a shared still this body is a temple take care soul is residing in it yes <clears throat> because uh, it's like kind of a kila where we should be alert who is entering inside the uh, kila uh, the fort fort you know we should be one should have cctv who is entering inside so we should not allow anyone which is uh, having body consciousness any thought so we'll just take on one more reflection before we move on to the meditation of one minute yeah, yeah i just wanted to share one more experience brother yeah uh, like in the murli it's so beautifully baba says that whatever the other person may be doing his weakness or whatever you just keep seeing the you know the goodness and your wishes should always be pure and to practice that uh besides the remembrance and besides the daily meditation which always helps and strengthens one thing which i have tried to practice is also uh because the life drama of so many life births has so many karmic situations linked so when i find a situation where a person is not behaving properly towards me or deceiving me repeatedly i just look at look at it as a moment for me where baba has been kind to make me realize this and there's some inner growth that he wants me to experience in this karmic story and i take it as a divine blessing and i actually express gratitude to that person for enabling me to reflect on something so deep within myself and i think that has helped me uh, progress in this journey of having good vibrations towards that person you know at different points in your life different people do all nasty things but i think that gratitude feeling even towards them thank you you know because of you my reflection has increased my spirituality has increased my connection to the almighty has increased thank you for this lovely teaching and that has also helped me personally in my feelings towards others om shanti a wonderful point shared by you sister uh, and uh, in the, uh, just one last week boldly uh, baba spoke about someone was saying ki baba please tell baba maya to excuse me you know then baba answered as a strict teacher that you know i am the one who invokes maya to go to you go to every child and uh, test the stage you know and uh, Uh, then only i'll be i'll see whether the, the child is deserving to be at the world stage and to be the you know the uh, swarga ka malik the uh, to be the king in the <coughs> satyug uh, swarg heaven so uh, this is uh, one way where any soul is behaving or this one so they are basically helping you they are the one who will put garlands in you on you <coughs> later so they are in otherwise without any examination one cannot even proceed to get promoted to a higher level or higher division so that's a good reflection we'll just take one last reflection if anyone has om shanti brother i had a question so uh, yeah. <clears throat> my drama i am in joint family my husband has uh, two younger brothers and uh, they are not in yan and uh, their uh, culture is extremely different uh, and i am working i am living in a separate city over them and uh, all my earnings everything they are jointly spending and uh, everything is going um, but uh, what i have to do something uh, i think it is all uh, it's good for it is for goodness everything i am doing like that but um, at times i feel bad whether i am deceiving uh, they are doing something bad for me what uh, i have to do but uh, the, when i am having a relationship 
they will be good uh, goodly speaking everything but uh, they are spending too much uh, i can't uh, separate anything from the business joint business they are doing and uh, they are uh, spending too much whatever they want they will do in extreme manner uh, i can't uh, stop anything um, even now i am giving uh, good blessings everything Uh, but uh, i feel uh, sometimes i am uh, deceiving uh, what will uh, i what i have to do brother whether i can try to stop them or uh, i have to convince myself it is for goodness it's uh, what the thing i have done now it is doing happening for me uh, how okay. i have to take this um, okay i have i've got what you were trying to uh, ask uh, i would invite uh, members from the divine family to share their uh, reflection on this uh, suggest something anyone would like to comment on the sister's query it's a practical situation query here yeah. uh just i i oh somebody is speaking please go ahead Sister, please carry on. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll take so sister. Just, you after Gaja sister. Yeah, Gaja sister. Please just one second. In a very precise one. form, so that we can take the other yeah, sisters. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just one uh, thing I want to do. Whatever it is happening, I always feel as it was just mentioned. Baba asks Maya to storm us, to test us, to be worthy of heaven. So what you are not now going to, sister, is Baba. just trying to prove that you are worthy of heaven but that second part i totally agree with you that content with everyone in the same angle is not at all practical it takes place very very slowly so for this i have to change my thoughts towards others thinking oh are they using well are they doing well just keep giving and just face it i know it's a very uh, situation to handle but i think this is the only way you can justify it thank you yeah sister and uh, the other sister also please share your uh, uh, reflection or your comment in a brief form yeah shan yeah om shanti uh, as baba has always taught us to be prepared as she so in that case we have to be stable in our minds that yes if something wrong is happening happening is with us then we have to have the shubh bhavna for the person who is doing wrong with us but at the same time it is very important to take an important action in which uh, there is no uh, regret in our minds also there is there should not be guilt and also the person in uh, do is doing wrong with us he has a right to know the right thing Uh, it should not be a uh, uh, fiction in his mind that yes i am going right so we have to take the action in a way that does not hurt the person but at the same time uh, uh, there should be justice as baba has also taught us to be uh, 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 as it is also said that anyay sehna zyada paap hai karne se bhi so uh, to move on we have to be trikal darshi we have to find a solution but in a very sweet manner om shanti yes very nice sharing by both sisters uh rakhi ben ami ben you would like to add something here for the practical situation or any other soul uh om shanti om shanti uh vijay bhai go ahead yeah yeah sorry so um the uh the the problem that that we were discussing so i uh, uh my suggestion would be um uh, whichever sender you are going to right uh, you should go there and have a heart to heart conversation with the instrument sister there and then you should uh, bring this problem in front of the sister and then discuss with her and then find a solution and do what the sister says that surrendered sister says so that in that way uh your your uh, your act will be uh, completely on srimat uh if at all something goes wrong then papa will correct it uh 
uh, I mean, uh, uh, think through it, and then if you are not going to any center and you are not uh, in connection with any surrendered sister, uh, then uh, you know uh, somebody who's experienced um, can give. I mean, uh, uh, this this is something you know you're personally having issues, right? And you also find that there is some issue. I mean, it's not going smooth as you expected. So, uh, Srimad, uh, Srimad is this, like uh, you should go to a surrendered sister and then discuss it and then take her opinion and then implement that in your life and then see the difference. Om Shanti. You're a very nice and practical tip on uh taking the advice uh, as for the Srimad from the uh, Nimitta sister. And just adding one reflection is uh, in Amrit Vela. I'm not sure whether you every day you do Amrit Vela uh, religiously, you know, accurately. But Amrit Vela is a time when we you can settle all these kind of bondages very easily. It's a powerful stage. You create a, a, a night before you write it down, you know, letter to Baba letter speak everything what you have to say uh, you are experiencing in this situation you just write your feelings everything to baba none else none one no one else and then put it in a letter box and next day early morning uh, amrit vela you uh, you know uh, you just uh, practice some soman and connect with baba that I'm a world mother, I'm a world benefactor, my accounts have settled. I am a great soul. I am a benevolent soul. My every uh, thought, every uh, money, and every soul is for Baba. And it is being utilized in a very, very constructive way for creation of a Satyuga. And when you practice these, I mean, there could be more Samant like this. And uh, then automatically, you know, uh, you will find the change in the attitude of those two brothers. And uh, uh, then that is the time when you bring, uh, bring up this uh, issue uh, up front and they will listen to you. Your own husband will listen to you. Lockic husband will listen to you because you have told the supreme husband, supreme sergeant. And I think this this one I've reflection which I have experienced in my life also. I have sometimes I practice this. Mm -hmm. When it is beyond us, we have to take the help from Baba. So Om Shanti will switch, switch over to the uh, just half a minute uh, pause. The Thank you, silence. all my divine souls. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Om Shanti. We'll just uh, go to the half minute meditation. Deep silence. I am. Om Bhai Hari Penas just unmuted. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Share. Share yeah, please, sister. Please share. No, no. Uh, the time is up. I don't want to take time, but I just wanted to okay. totally agree what Om Bhai just said. I have personally experienced this. Just surrender to Baba. And actually, you'll get the answer. And uh, the way to know it's the right answer or you're just imagining it, in my experience, if your energy state feels stronger after you get the answer and you just know it from inside, that's the right answer. If you, again, are getting feelings of doubt or feeling of uh, reduction of energy, that's the way to know you still don't have the right answer. And then you have to meditate more. I just wanted to add that. Om Shanti. How sweet. Very insightful hearing. Thank you, sister. Now let's uh, you, sister. Uh, let's be seated on the world stage. The seed stage is the world stage. The foundation. I am a divine soul, source of unlimited love and divinity, source of unlimited power because I am in connection with the Supreme Soul, the canopy of protection, the canopy of relationship, belongingness, world-class 
attitude, world-class feeling, feelings of well-wishing, attitude of benevolence, the ocean is above me. I am in connection with him. I am experiencing, experiencing the light, might and the divine insight every moment which is guiding me to take the correct decision to be, feel powerful so that I can focus on the specialities of each and every soul. I highlight these specialities. I am a collector of divine pearls who can help Baba in creation of the Satyuki world, the divine gathering. I'm a world benefactor, a world mother. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Over to Rakhi, sister. Om Shanti. Thank you, Om Bhai. Thank you, Divine Family. And see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a wonderful day.